Is your upline hounding you to get to the next company event? Or are you an upline who is 100% sold on the power of events, but you're wondering, how the heck do I get my team there? Events are one of the most powerful things that you can do to build your business, and getting your team there is so important. And in this episode, we're gonna actually share with you how you can like develop this into being a part of your business system, part of your strategy. So we want you to stay tuned and we'll fill you in. Hey there, and welcome to Freedom Boss Babes TV. My name is Jordan Maley, and along with my mom and business partner, Kathy Schneider, we are the Freedom Boss Babes. We are a mother-daughter team who help driven network marketers like you with the simple strategies to grow your business quickly online without confusion and overwhelm. Together, we've personally enrolled over 600 people in our business, have built teams that exceed a million dollars in sales volume, and won the award for the fastest growing team in our company for five years in a row. If you get value from this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because we put out brand new training videos and free resources on this channel every single week. We've listed out all the points covered in this video along with the details for how you can grab a free copy of our 12 month event calendar and budget planner in the description below. So feel free to check that out at any time. Today, we're gonna be talking about why and how to get your team to live events. So let's jump in and get started. And you know, you can't talk about events without the subject or the thought of team culture coming up. And that's why we love this quote so much by Helen Keller. You know, alone, we can do so little. Together, we can do much more. I just love that. And it really, as we talk about events today, uh, I really want you to think about these words from Helen Keller from years ago. They're so powerful. All right, so let's start by talking about the 90-day cycles of your business. So each day in your business, you should be networking, inviting, following up with the prospects who are in your funnel. Those daily activities lead into your weekly event, which would be a team or company video chat or a conference call, you know, something where your team gets together. Um, these weekly events are not usually in person, although they can be, but they're so powerful in helping you and your team navigate the difficult waters of this business. They're gonna remind you that you're not alone, and provide an excellent place for you to build team culture and relationships. These weekly events then lead into a monthly event, which is a place for you, your team, and your prospects to come together once a month and share stories about the company, products, and how your business is changing lives. Not only are these events powerful for your prospects, they show social proof, support, team culture, but they are also powerful for your team. These monthly events don't have to be live. In fact, sometimes it's better if they're not. We use, utilize Facebook events and webinars each month to connect our team and prospects all together in one place, no matter where each person lives around the globe. Now, monthly events lead into quarterly events, and these are live events held either by your company or by a generic trainer in the network marketing industry. Once a quarter, you should plan to attend an event for your business, and you should plan to bring as many team members with you as possible. We aim for two to three company events each year and at least one generic event. So this is the 90 day cycle of your business. I hope you can see how live events so perfectly fit into this. So be sure to click on the link in the description below and grab our 12 month calendar and budget tracker now so you can start planning. So why events are so important? You know, um, events are the place where your company goes, it goes from your head to your heart, okay? And sure, I mean, you know how awesome your business is. You love your products. You know there are people making money. But when you spend two to three days in a room with hundreds or maybe even thousands of other people who are thinking the same way, that's when the real magic happens. You know, events are where you get to experience firsthand that you're not alone in this business. And not only are you not alone, but there are others who are crushing it. There's always people doing more or, you know, it, having more um, better results than you are. And you get to not only see that, but you see that they are normal people just like you. And the thought, you know, can't help but come in, creep in there. If they can do it, I can too. So we really want, you know, you to understand these events are that important. You're going to get to sit across the table from, you know, your social media friends, look them in the eye and build real connections. And guess what? 
statistics show that for every team member that you have in the room at a company, whether that be a regional or, you know, corporate event, you'll earn an average of $1,000 in the next year from that person. Some you'll earn more from, some less, but an average of 1,000. Events are that powerful. They change people. And your team is much more likely to take action, to be consistent, and to get results once they've attended a live event. And that's why it's so important to get 10, 20, 50, or even more team members to your company events. All right, so how do you get your team to events, right? So we, we've talked about why this is so important, but how do you get them there? First things first, you've got to plan ahead. And we really wanna encourage you to use our 12 month event calendar and budget tracker if you need some guidance on this. And you can share this with your team as well. They'll find it really valuable. So as soon as one event is over, we immediately start talking about the next event. And we talk about the event in our team groups and on our team calls every single week in the months leading up to it. Like for example, at the time of this recording, we have an event coming up in the fall. It's about six months away. We talked about it on our team call on Tuesday of this week. That's how much we believe in the power of events. So you wanna provide a place for people to connect, set up group chats where people can find roommates, schedule a team dinner, decide ahead of time on a place where everyone can meet up before the event starts to connect, all right? So live events, they can be scary, right? Some people don't go to live events simply because they're really scared to get out of their comfort zone and go. So the best way to get your team there is to make it as fun and connected as possible. Our motto at events, no one left behind. We follow, uh, we have found that by scheduling a really casual meetup, sometimes something just like being in the hotel lobby the first night, everyone is able to quickly relax and enjoy the rest of the weekend without fear. So finally, share stories, both your own and the stories of your team of the things that you experienced both before and after events. We have a girl on our team who came home from her first event and enrolled 12 new business partners that next month. We tell that story on our team all the time because it inspires others to get to the, the next event as well. I wanna encourage you to take these tips, use them with your own team. And if you want even more, then be sure to grab our 12 month event calendar and budget tracker now, and even better, share it with your team. Thanks so much for tuning in to this week's episode of Freedom Boss Babes TV, and we can't wait to see you next time. Episode six. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it started with you. I hadn't even looked. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm just going, well, she'll, she'll go in a minute. <laughs>